okay and then you need to go live on Facebook Okay, Hare Krishna, welcome everybody, um, pronouns to you all, thank you for joining us today. Um, so this is the, um, the last talk in this series um, of exploring the mercy of Srinathyananda through Song and Shastra. Um, this is the second series and this is the final part. Um, so we'll just offer our um, pronouns to begin with, and then we'll um, explain what we're going to do today. Yatja yukti vichakshanam tvakapitu vaishishta shaktiya sada vandeham tripurari namakaya tim shri bhakti vedantinam Nam Vishnu padaya Krishna prishtaya bhutale Swami shri bhakti vedanta prabhupadaya te namaha Gurvakyam shira sidritva shaktiya vesha swarupine Hare Krishna timantrena paschati prachetarine Vishvacharya Prabhariya Divya Karunya Murtaye Shri Bhagavata Madhurya Gita Jnana Pradayane Gaura Shri Rupa Siddhanta Saraswati Nishtefine Radha Krishna Padam Bhoja Pringaya Gurave Namaha Devam Divya Tanam Suchanda Vadanam Balarka Chelanchitam Sandrananda Purang Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidam Budhim Shri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Sarasvatanam Varam Vande Tang Shupadam Madeka Sharanam Yashishwaram Shri Dharam Vanja Kalpata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Pyaevada Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Ajinu Ambita Pujo Kanakavadato Sankirtanaika Pitaro Kamalaya Taksho Vishvambaro Dvijavaro Yuga Dharma Palo Anjagat Pikaro Karuna Vataro Vande Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityanando Sahodito Gododaye Pushpavanto Chitro Shando Tamonito Vande Ham Shri Rama Krishna Apaya Charanasuko Sukado Parmanando Sundaro Subalakriyo Hey Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostite Tapta Kanjana Gaurangi Radhe Brinda Baneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hare Priye Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jai Shri Guru Dev Ki Jai, Anand Kupi Vaishnavrindu Ki Jai, Jai, Hari Po, Hare Krishna everybody. Yeah, thanks for being here. Um, so yeah, as we were saying, so today is the, um, the final part in the second series. Um, uh, we've, we've been exploring um, a number of different songs about Srinidhyananda Ram. Um, in the in the first series that um, we gave last September, we studied um, this song Akrodha Paramananda Nityananda Rai of Srila uh, Lochandas Thakur. And then in this series, which we began in December, um, uh, we did the first two parts in December and the last two parts now in January. Um, we've we've studied a different a different song each time. So um, in, uh, we, we studied the verses of um, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami from the Chaitanya Charitamrita where he describes uh, the dream that he had of Lord Nityananda 
um, and the instructions that he was given in that dream to go to Vrindavan. Um, and it was described, um, you know, the um, stunning appearance of Lord Nityananda, um, how incredibly beautiful he was in his, you know, in his physical appearance and his stature of being like a uh, Mahavir, like a great hero uh, with his eyes like lotus petals and um, surrounded by his associates who were all dressed like cowherd boys. Um, then the second talk, we um, we discussed the song of uh, Shuddha Vrindavan Das Thakur, the Jaya Jaya Nityananda Rohini Kumar, which uh, again describing that not only the physical appearance, but also the um, the the incredible mercy of of Lord Nityananda, um, and and describing some of the symptoms that he would display of his great ecstasy. Um, for example, um, when he would call out the, the name of Lord Gauranga or ask people to chant Golda Hari, that this would cause him to just um, fall, crash onto the ground. Um, and he was described to be like a, like a great mountain or like Mount Sumeru um, falling on the ground. Um, and that it, it was described how his entire body would become um, soaked with the tears from his eyes. Um, and, you know, we've, we, yeah, we've just disco uh, discovered many great things about his character, um, you know, from Lurchan Das Thakur as well, about how you know, he's Abhiman Shunya with no false ego, no, no pride, um, such humility, approaching anyone and everyone, you know, with straw in his teeth, just begging them um, to please, please chant the holy names. Um, and we, we studied this just inconceivable concept that he himself is Vishnu Tattva, he is the Supreme Lord himself, you know, the source of all the Vishnus, um, yet this same Supreme Lord comes and falls at the feet of the insignificant Jeevas just to beg them to chant the holy names to um, really actually release them from this material samsara. Um, and then last week we uh, we looked at the, another song of Lochan Das Thakur, this Paramakaruna, um, exploring the mercy of the two brothers combined, Shushi Gora Nityananda, and their inconceivable mercy and how they've you know they've they've given us a process that is simply joyful, and that there is um, no one that compares with with these avatars. Um, so yeah, just a few things that we've studied already, really. Um, yeah, wonderful things about the character of Lord Nityananda, also his, his childlike nature, his innocence, his restlessness, the way that he would um, often not be conscious of his surroundings and um, just being so absorbed in, in pure love. Um, so yeah, lots of nice things we've studied already. So today, um, in the final part, I thought it would be nice to study one song which um, which I've never actually I've never led this bhajan before, and I only sung it today for the for the like led it myself today for the first time, and I was just practicing it. Um, a wonderful song of Shula Bhaktivinoda Thakur, um, and the official name of it is um, Dal Dalaler Gita, or the song of the broker, and it's often called Borosu Kerga Burgai. Um, because that's the, the first line of it. And it's a song by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur about how Sri Nityananda Prabhu has started the marketplace of the holy name in Surabi Kunj. So that's that's what we're going to look at um, at today. Um, I, I've always thought whenever I've heard it and read the translation that it sounds like a very joyful song and um, it sounds like lots of fun and it's very encouraging and I, I get the feeling from it that um, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur is really being like a great friend to us in this song like with the kind of language that he uses um, it seem, seems to be a very very friendly language um, there's an interesting point about that because this song was um, was written in 1893. Um, th most of the, the information that I could find about it, it says that this song appears in a collection uh, called uh, the Vai Vaishnav Siddhanta Mala. So that means uh, a garland 
of Vaishnav, Vaishnavite conclusions, um, Vaishnav Siddhanta Mala, and it said that that's where this song appears. But that Vaishnav Siddhanta Mala um, was, was written in 1888, and this song was written in 1893, so I'm a little bit confused about that. But one of my good friends said to me that she thought, she, she lived for many years in Bengal, and she thought that this song appeared in a collection of songs called um, ba Baula, Baul, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce their names, the Bowls or the Bowls, these um, uh, kind of like, seen as like madmen, um, who seemed to be in transcendental ecstasy and would like share songs and go village to village with people. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote a collection of um, 11 or 12 songs called the Baul Gita, um, quite, which um, he used a pen name in them actually. I think it was Ch Chand Baul. And it was kind of like instructions to the people in general about like, you know, what really is a transcendental madman and to not be um, deluded by these by people that pose um, as as kind of transcendental madmen, but actually not really like following any any actual proper principles. Um, and so this friend of mine, she thought that this song appeared in that collection, which I don't think it does. But it's interesting because that collection of songs also came out the same year in um, 1893. So I wonder if there is some connection here, because this friend of mine, she said that the language that Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote these um, um, Baal Gita songs in was very different to his other writings. It was a very um, kind of colloquial style of language. She said it is it is Bengali, but it's not really like the Bengali that most people speak. Um, she said it's quite different. And um, she said it's almost like, um, well, I asked her, is it, would you say it's like the difference between like how we speak English and you may have heard of like Cockney, Cockney slang, for example, that's the kind of English that some people in London speak and often Cockney rhyming slang is they have different words. Um, for example, like, I'll give an example, instead of stairs, like the stairs that you walk up, they'd call them apples and pears. <laughs> so they have different words, but like they kind of know what they're talking about. And she said, yeah, that's kind of a good analogy that it could be like seen in that way, the difference between like kind of ordinary English and Cockney rhyming. So, so um, it seems to me that, the, the I mean, I don't know um, Bengali and I'm not familiar with the language, but certainly even just from the English translation, it seems that he's speaking in a very kind of friendly, kind of quite casual way and um yeah i wonder if it's connected with the way that he was speaking in those songs uh of the, the bowels um but anyway that's i don't know perhaps uh, at the end of the call if anyone has any more information on that they can share um but so just to give a bit of background uh of this this song so he's singing about Nityananda Prabhu starting the marketplace of the holy name in Surabi Kunj in Godrumadvip in Mayapur and um, as we know that Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur himself um, resided there I mean he had a house just about 200 meters from Surabi Kunj um, and he lived there for some years um, and um, when he when he stayed there um, it said that he composed many of his most important works. So there's, I've got a list of a few works that he wrote during that time when he was staying there. Um, he wrote Sri Harinam Chintamani, uh, Sri Navadweep Dham Mahatmya, the Bhagavatarka Marichi Mala, which I hadn't heard of until I, until I read this, but that was actually something that Bhaktivinoda Thakur composed after um, when he was entranced, Sri Swarup Damodar instructed him to compose this. So Sri Swarup Damodar being one of the intimate associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he, he composed that. He also wrote the Sri Bhajan Rahasya, um, the Vedarka Didhiti, which is a Sanskrit commentary on Sri Shapanishad, Jaiva Dharma, Shodanagati, uh, Sri Navadweep Bhava Taranga, and that's just a few. He actually wrote many, many more important works while, while living there. Um, and um, he said some wonderful things about that area, about Godruma Dweep. Um, in his Shodanagati, uh, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur sings, um, Godruma Dhame Pajana Anukule, Matura Srinandishwara Samatule, Tahi Mahasurabhi Kunja Kutire, 
Batopan, Batopun Hamasura Patini Pire, which means in the island of Godrumadweep, which is very much conducive for performing one's devotional service unto the Supreme Lord, and which is non different to the sacred land of Nandagon, situated in Vrindavan, I shall settle down in my small cottage within the groves of Surabi Kunj on the bank of the celestial Ganges. And then he further writes, Vaishnava, Vaishnava, Jana Saha, Gopunam, Jaya Godruma, Jaya Gora Kidham. There I would commence singing the holy names of the Lord in association of the Vaishnavas. We would all sing, All glories to the island of Godruma, the divine abode of Sri Gora Sundar. So it's obviously a place very dear to Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur and also to Srinityananda Ram Prabhu himself, because it's in, in, in 1512, Lord Nityananda Prabhu went there. And uh, we'll come to that in a little bit, how he was um, instructed by Mahaprabhu to, to uh, go to Bengal. But just to give a little bit of history about the place of Surabi Kunj and the name of it. Um, so the place where Surabi Kunj now stands is the same pious place where demigod Indra, Markandeya Rishi, and Surabhi, the celestial cow, had once performed their Gaura Bhajan, sang glories of Lord Gauranga. Indra had come to this place in Dwarpa after he had offended Lord Krishna by flooding his beloved Vrindavan. Indra repented for his actions and wanted to please the Lord by taking shelter of his holy name. Surabhi remained, uh, remained here underneath a banyan tree, constantly meditating upon Sri Gaura Sundar's lotus feet. In fact, the very name Gaudruma um, had come into being as a result of this ancient pastime. Go meaning cow and drum meaning banyan tree. Um, so the, the name Gaudruma has come from that pastime of Surabhi praying under the banyan tree. Um, I said that banyan tree is not is not there anymore, but um, I did watch a video where it said that um, it said that devotees who are um, pure pure in heart still um, can can still perceive that banyan tree and surabi um, at that place. Um, yeah so, yeah, so devotees whose hearts are pure can still see the banyan tree and surabhi. So, so, so just a little bit of history about that place. So in terms of, um, uh, so also Shilabhaktivinoda Thakur, he also established a temple at Surabhi Kunj, and the uh, temple is still there um, to this day. Um, and in the same way that Lord Nityananda Prabhu started the Namahat there, Shilabhaktivinoda Thakur also um, um, started a Namahat there and he, um, he, he, he wrote instructions about that and we'll also we'll read a little bit about that as well um, a bit later but in terms of how Lord Nityananda Prabhu was sent there um, I was looking it up in the Chaitanya Charitamrita because I haven't actually read all of Chaitanya Charitamrita yet so I had to, um, I had to research what, where, at what point in time was it that Mahaprabhu sent Lord Nityananda there so um, as we know, after Mahaprabhu took sannyas and went to Jagannath Puri, then after that, he went on a sort of a preaching tour of South India for six years. And then he returned to Jagannath Puri. Um, and they had the Rathayatra there. And all the devotees were there, devotees from Bengal. And um, after the Rathayatra, um, it said that the devotees stayed there um, continuously for four months and they observed many festivals. Um, basically, all, all the festivals they observed, they observed Janmashtami and um, they were there throughout Kartik, they, they observed Diwali. Um, and they're really very beautiful verses and descriptions of how the devotees were, um, were observing these festivals. And um, I'll just read, I'm going to read some verses about the, their celebration of, um, I don't know if it was Janmashtami or the day after, I'll just have to check, um, uh, the Nandotsava, I think, perhaps. Um, 
Oh no, I think it was Jan Mush to me. But I thought I'd read it because these verses they have they they uh, they're really fun and it kind of um to me it seems to correspond with um the mood of this song that we're going to sing today. Um so um yeah, so so we're at the point after so after the Graf Theatra and um so Mahaprabhu is still in Puri with all the devotees. And so this is from the 15th chapter of Madhya Leela, uh, from verse 16. Um, all the devotees remained at Jagannath Puri for four continuous months, and they observed all Lord Jagannath's festivals with great pleasure. The devotees celebrated the festival of Janmashtami, Krishna's birthday, which is also called Nanda Mahotsava, the festival of Nanda Maharaj. At that time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his devotees dressed themselves as cowherd boys. Having dressed up like cowherd boys, all the devotees carried pots of milk and yogurt balanced on rods over their shoulders. Thus, they all arrived at the festival grounds chanting the holy name of Hari. Uh, Kanani Kutia dressed himself like Nanda Maharaj, and Jagannath Mahiti dressed himself as Mother Yashoda. Uh, at that time, King Prataparudra was also personally present with Kashi Mishra, Sarvagoma Bhattacharya, and Tulsi Padi Chapatra. As usual, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced jubilantly. Everyone was covered with milk, yogurt, and yellow turmeric water. At this time, Srila Advaita Acharya said, Please do not be angry. I speak the truth. I shall know that you are a cowherd boy only if you can wheel this rod about. Accepting Advaita Acharya's challenge, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took a big rod and began to wheel it around and around. Again and again, he threw the rod into the sky and caught it when it fell. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wheeled and threw the rod, sometimes over his head, sometimes behind his back, sometimes in front of him, sometimes to his side, and sometimes between his legs. All the people laughed to see this. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu whirled the rod in a circle like a firebrand, the heart of everyone who saw it was astonished. Nityananda Prabhu also played at whirling the rod. Who can understand how they were ecstatically immersed in the deep emotions of the cowherd boys? Following the orders of Maharaj Prataparudra, the temple superintendent named Tulsi brought one of Lord Jagannath's used cloths. This valuable cloth was wrapped around the head of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The other devotees, headed by Advaita Acharya, also had cloths wrapped about their heads. In ecstasy, Kanani Kutia, who was dressed as Nanda Maharaj, and Jagannath Mahiti, who was dressed as Mother Yashoda, distributed all the riches they had stocked at home. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was greatly satisfied to see this. Accepting them as his father and mother, he offered them obeisances. In great ecstasy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu returned to his residence. In this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, known as Gauranga Sundara, performed various pastimes. So, and then there's uh, some more descriptions of some other pastimes um, on the, 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 the Ram Vijayots of a day. But then, shortly after, a few verses later, when it gets to verse 37, um, it says that. Um, Let's see, so it says, Ekadina Mahaprabhu Nityanande Lana, Dui Bhai Yukti Koila Niprite Vashiya. One day, the two brothers, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, consulted with each other while sitting in a solitary place. It said no one can understand what the brothers discussed between themselves, but later, all the devotees could guess what the subject matter was. And then the following verses are about how Lord Chaitanya then sent um, the devotees, uh, he asked them to return back to Bengal and bade farewell to them. 
And then he gave specific instructions um, to some of the devotees. He gave instructions to um, Advaita Acharya um, to give Krishna consciousness to everyone. Um, and then there's some, uh, so then there's a few verses how he instructs Nityananda Prabhu. So, so this is um, at the point when Nityananda Prabhu is going to go back to Bengal. So Mahaprabhu says to him, um, Nityanande Agyadila Yaha Godadeshe, Anargala Prima Bhakti Kariha Prakashe. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered Nityananda Prabhu, go to Bengal and without restriction manifest devotional service to the Lord, Krishna Consciousness. Rama Dasa Gadadhara Adikata Jane. Tumara Sahaya Lagi Dilu Tumara Shane. Nityananda Prabhu was given assistance like Ramdas, Gadadhardas, and several others. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I, I give them to you to assist you. But then it's very nice. Then the next verse, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says to Nityananda Prabhu, he says, Madhye um, Madhye Ami Tumara Nikata Yaiba Alakshite Rahi Tumara Nritya Dekhiba. I shall also go to see you at intervals, keeping myself invisible. I shall watch you dance. So it's very sweet. So Mahaprabhu is giving him the orders to go there, but. Whenever Nityananda Prabhu is dancing, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going to be there with him watching. And then the following verses, when uh, Mahaprabhu gives instructions to, um, to Srivast Thakur, and he also says sim similar things that in the devotees in their service to him, he says to them, to them that he will be there as well with them. Um, it's really very sweet. So when he says to Srivast Thakur that when he's performing Sankirtan every day in his home, that Mahaprabhu will be there too, and that nobody else will be able to see him, but Srivast Thakur will, will be able to see him. And then he says, um, uh, you know, he asks to give some items to his mother, Sachima, uh, I think a cloth from Lord Jagannath and some, and some prasad from Lord Jagannath. And then um, Mahaprabhu describes how, how he goes daily to actually see his mother, to see her lotus feet, and that um, whenever she cooks, he always goes there and he eats the food. And although she knows that, she doesn't really believe it. But um, I just thought it was really sweet that even though, you know, he has taken sannyas and he's in Puri and he's giving instructions to his devotees to go different places to preach, but uh, we see that actually he's always with them um, in, in those endeavors. So I thought that was really, um, yeah, quite special. So, um, <clears throat> so um, yeah. So Nityananda Prabhu went to Bengal, and in, it said in Surabhi Kunj, that's where he that's where he started the marketplace um, of the holy name. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur similarly um, was uh, was was. Um, starting the marketplace of the holy name in Bengal, he would uh, um, gather with other great souls, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta and Prabhupada and Srila uh, Gaurakishore Das Prabhupada Maharaj, um, preaching the glories of the holy name. And he also wrote instructions about um, the Namahat. Um, I have this book, I don't know if some of you have seen this before, this Namahat book, multi-level multi marketing of the holy name. Well, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, that this has been um, translated by, I think, Hansadutta, Hansadutta Das, I think. Um, so this book is, is uh, it explains how, so it says um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur describes the process for propagating the teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrit, and other Vedic literature as analogous to a marketing enterprise. Curiously enough, his description in principle is exactly what we in the West would call multi-level marketing. Um, 
as done by companies like Amway, Shackley, etc. I don't know if it's companies. Um, but so it, then it, and then it, it's explained what Buckton and Tucker's scheme was. So we're going to see this coming up in the song as well. I will share the screen in a minute so that we can see the song and the translation. But um, so the song of the broker, the koda, koda nitai, koda means like the um, uh, the manager or the, or the or the broker of this marketplace. He's the one in charge of it. Um, or the chief trader, as it says here. So these are the uh, the comparisons here. So we've got um, like the storehouse. Um, this is our literature, both in content and in kind. The chief trader, Nityananda Prabhu. Um, and then there's the share traders. There's uh, Sri Advaita Prabhu in Bengal, Sri Rupa and Sri Sanatan in Vrindavan, Sri Swarup Damodar and Ramananda in Jagannath Puri. Um, and there's, it's, it says in the book here that additional parts are mentioned, but we'll skip them for the time being. And then there's the commodities for sale or distribution, the holy name, the holy name related to the Lord's form, the holy name related to the Lord's qualities, the holy name related to the Lord's pastimes, the holy name in one's rasa with the Lord, the holy name imbued with the full potency of all transcendental emotions in pure devotion. So there's lots of different comparisons. Um, there's a section on acceptable transcendental currency, which also comes up in the song that we're going to sing. So as, as many of you probably know about the pri what is the price for Nityananda Prabhu giving the pure holy name? Just one's faith, just, just uh, a, a bit of faith in chanting the holy name. So it's got here a list of acceptable transcendental currency. So Shraddha, faith, is like a penny. Um, this buys the holy name. Um, and then uh, 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 Nishta, steady devotion. Uh, so he's compar comparing it to like um, American currency, just to clear that up, because so, I'm not <laughs> totally sure what these are. A nickel? Nishta is like a nickel. This buys the Lord's form. Um, Ruchi, taste for the holy name, is likened to a dime. This buys the Lord's form and qualities. Asakti, attachment, is like a quarter. This buys the Lord's form, qualities, and pastimes. Bhava, or rati, preliminary ecstatic love of God, a silver dollar. This buys the holy name related to transcendental emotions. And prema, purified love of God, is like a golden coin. This was the holy name imbued with all the transcendental potency of ecstatic devotion to the Lord. So and then there's a note here. It says, um, according to the price one pays, one will receive the corresponding commodity. But there is a mystery here. When the customer, devotee, gives payment and receives the goods, the holy name, and chants the required number of times, he gets back what he originally paid by the mercy of the traders. Therefore, he may again use his refund and purchase again without loss or diminution. So, yeah, I just thought we'd, uh, we'd just sort of sum up that a little bit about how he's, um, you know, he's likened it almost like a kind of a business proposal, really. Um, but we'll share the screen now and we'll get the words up. And I think what would be nice to do um, is um, maybe we can um, just sing the song through um, and then read the translation. Um, yeah, it's just a, yeah, it's a very happy sounding song. Let's find, sorry, screen, share screen. Uh, hmm. Uh, so hopefully, oops. I don't think I can fit the whole, um, I'll have to move, move it up and down, but hopefully you can all see that okay. Um, yeah, so we'll sing it through and read the translation uh, afterwards and then see if anybody's got any, any comments or um things for discussion about it. Oops. I 
again sorry yeah i'll have to keep everybody muted as usual but please do please do sing the sing um along sing the response um <clears throat> Srila Satchitananda Thakur Bhakti Vinod Ki Jai Sri Nityananda Ram Prabhu Ki Jai Borosukher Gabur Gai Borosukher Gabur Gai Borosukher Gabur Gai Borosukher Gabur Gai Sura Bikun Jete Namer Hata Kuleche Sura bi kun jete na mer hat kule che Koranita 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 Boromo char katata Boromo char katata Boromo char katata Boromo char katata Shrata Mulya Shuta Nama Sehate Te Vikai Shrata Mulya Shuta Nama Sehate Te Vikai Koranitai 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 Jata Bhakta Brindavasi Jata Bhakta Brindavasi Jata Bhakta Brindavasi, Jata Bhakta Brindavasi, Adhikari Beke Nama Beche Tarokashi, Adhikari Beke Nama Beche Tarokashi, Kodanitai, 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 Kodanitai. Jadi nama king ke bhai, jadi nama king ke bhai, jadi nama king be bhai, jadi nama king be bhai. Amar sange chalo maha janer kache jai, amar sange chalo maha janer kache jai, kodani tai, kodani tai. Korani tai, korani tai. Tu me kinde Krishna nam, tu me kinde Krishna nam, tu me kinde Krishna nam, tu me Krish, tu me kinde Krishna nam. Das turi lai bo ami purna habe kam, das turi lai bo ami purna habe kam. Korani tai, korani tai, korani tai, korani tai. Borodoy al nityananda, borodoy al nityananda, borodoy al nityananda, borodoy al nityananda. Shraddha matra loye de in paramananda. Shraddha matra loye de in paramananda. Korani tai, korani tai. Korani tai, korani tai. Ek bar dekle chak she jau, ek bar dekle chak she jau. Ek bar dekle chak she jau, ek bar dekle chak she jau. Gora bole nitai den sakala samba. Gora bole nitai den sakala samba. Kora nitai, kora nitai, kora nitai, kora nitai. Den shuta Krishna shiksha, den shuta Krishna shiksha. Den Shuddha Krishna Shiksha, Den Shuddha Krishna Shiksha. Jati Dhana Vidya Bala Na Kore Apeksha. Jati Dhana Vidya Bala Na Kore Apeksha. 
Toranita, 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 Amani Jare Maya Ja, Amani Jade Chamaya Ja, Amani Jade Chaya. Amani chade maya jal, amani chade maya jal. Grihe tako bane tako na take janjal. Grihe tako bane tako na take janjal. Korani tae, korani tae. Korani tae, korani tae. Arnaiko kalir boy, Arnaiko kalir boy, Arnaiko kalir boy, Arnaiko kalir boy. Achandale de namanita doyamoy, Achandale de namanita doyamoy. Kodanita, Kodanita. Koranita, Koranita, Bhakti vino da kikoi, Bhakti vino da kikoi, Bhakti vino da kikoi, Bhakti vino da kikoi. Nita charana bina a nahi ashroi, Nita charan bina a nahi ashroi, Nita charana bina a nahi ashroi, Nita charana bina a nahi ashroi, Koranita, Koranita. Koranita, Koranita, Borosuker Gaburga, Borosuker Gaburga, Borosuker Gaburga, Borosuker Gaburga, Surabi Kunjete Namer Hatuleche, Surabi Kunjete Namer Hatuleche. Koranitai, 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 Koranitai. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Ram, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Jaya Nityananda Ram Jaya. Nityananda Ram Jaya, Nityananda Ram Jaya, Nityananda Ram Jaya, Nityananda Ram, Nityananda Ram, Nityananda Ram Jaya, Nityananda Ram Jaya, Doya Nita 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 Jaya. Doya Nita Jaya, 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 Nita Jaya, Nita Jaya, Doya 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 Nita
चाय सचिदानंद ठाकुर भक्ति दिनो सचिदानंद ठाकुर भक्ति दिनो हरि पो हरि पो हरि पो नित्य गौरा हरि पो नित्य गौरा हरि पो हरि पो हरि पो नित्य गौरा हरि पो so we shall read the translation. Um, where are we? Stop the screen share. We can read the translation together. So Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur sings. I am singing news of the greatest happiness. So boro, boro is like the best, the highest. Boro suke, the highest happiness. Gabur gai, news. Gabur means like news of the highest happiness. Gai, I am singing. I'm singing news of the greatest happiness. At the place known as Surabi Kund in Sri Navadvik, the marketplace of the holy name has now been opened and Lord Nityananda himself is the proprietor. Such wonderful things are going on in that blissful marketplace. Actually, the meaning of this Boro Mojar, kata kata, uh, so Mojar means like very funny, so like such wonderfully funny things um, are going on in that blissful marketplace. Sri Nityananda Prabhu is selling the pure holy name wholesale merely for the price of one's faith. Seeing the assembly of devotees eagerly waiting to purchase the name, Lord Nityananda first examines each of them to test their qualification. Uh, so that's in verse three. So it's oh, Adhikari Deke. Deke means like he's trying to examine the Adhikar. Um, so he first examines each of them to test their qualification. Then he sells them the name by bargaining for his price accordingly. And in verse four, he says, Oh, my dear friends, if you really want to buy this pure holy name, then just come along with me. Jalo, let's go. Uh, for I am now going to meet with this Nityananda Mahajan. Thus, you will finally be able to acquire the pure holy name. I will also take my due commission. And in this way, all three of us will fulfill our desires. Sri Nityananda Prabhu is so extremely, extraordinarily merciful. Accepting only one's faith in the holy name he bestows the topmost divine bliss. Verse 7, he says, When Nitai sees a tear welling in someone's eye upon chanting the name of Gaura, he instantly gives his support to that person. Indeed, he bestows all divine opulences. And then in verse 8, he says, he gives that person genuine realization of the pure teachings of Sri Krishna, as found in the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. While displaying all this inconceivable mercy, he pays no attention to one's caste, material wealth, mundane knowledge, or physical ability. Very, very nice. I love that line in verse 8 when he says, uh, so then um, Shuddha Krishna Shiksha, so he's giving the pure realization of, um, of Krishna's teachings, Krishna Shiksha. And then he says, Jati, Dhana, Vidya, Bala, Nakore Apeksha. Nakore Apeksha means like he doesn't care. He doesn't care for any of those things. One's wealth, mundane knowledge, physical ability. He doesn't see any of those things. Um, um, yeah, it actually is actually quite reminiscent of uh, there's an, another verse in we mentioned this song last week, the Sri Gajamachandra Bhajan or Padesh, 
Um, there's a very wonderful verse in that. I think it's verse 13. I'll just check in this book. Um, is it verse 13? Mm, no, verse 15. No. Hang on. All right. No, sorry. Verse 12. Um, so in that, in verse 12, Bhaktivinoda Thakur sings. Um, Shruti Varna Dana Dina Yasya Kripa Janane Balavad Bhajane Navina Tamahai Tuka Bhava Patahi Sake Bhaja Godruma Kana Nakun Javikun. And that means, O oh friend, without the devotional performance of purely intense bhajan, your scholarship, family lineage, wealth, and so on are completely ineffective for invoking the mercy of the Lord. With a service attitude that is unmotivated, just worship the beautiful moon of Gudrun's forest flowers. So in the same way, all of these material qualities are completely ineffective for invoking the mercy of the Lord. And as it's saying here, Lord Nityananda Prabhu, he doesn't care for any of them. He, all he cares is just that, that bit of faith in enchanting the holy name um and just from that he gives the highest um you know the highest bliss he gives such mercy um so then where are we verse nine um Bhaktivinoda Thakur says um now dear friends please reject all of Maya's entangling snares if you are a householder then just remain at your home if you are renounced, then just live in the forest. Either way, nothing more will trouble you. We no longer need to fear the terrible age of quarrel. For the most merciful Lord Nityananda gives the holy name to anyone and everyone, even to the lowest among men. And then the most wonderful last verse, Bhaktivinoda loudly calls out and proclaims to all other than the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, there is no shelter. So other than the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, there is no shelter. So it's a very, very wonderful song. We can see like from his example of continuing with that Nama hut that he's... Um, you know, a, a servant of that Srinathyananda Ram Prabhu. And as we know from, especially when we, in our first series of talks, when we um, were studying more about Nityananda Tattva and um, the Guru Tattva that he represents, um, you know, in the same way our, our Guru is, um, you know, that same Shakti. And we receive, you know, we receive the, the holy name from our, from our Guru, um, transmitted that Diksha from the, from the heart of the guru to the heart of the disciple and um you know coming in that same held with that same shakti from nityananda ram prabhu um i just yeah i just i think back to when um you know we've not been uh disciples of our guru mushroom chapra saw me for, for a very long just so, some short years really in 2017 we received harinam and then 2019 um received um the diksha mantras but um, I just remember very clearly that time where he, when he gave Harinam and um, chanted the Maha Mantra into our ear. And, um, you know, it was just, a, yeah, it was, it was a, I mean, you can't really put it in, into words, but I really felt as if something was being poured into my heart. And um, and afterwards, in that moment afterwards, when I closed my eyes, all all I could see was Krishna. But yeah, some inconceivable mercy there. Um. So yeah, I mean, I mean, that's basically today's talk. I don't know. Does anybody have any um any comments or any information they'd like to share regarding Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur, or um, the topic of the Namahata or Sri Nityananda, or any comments or or anything we'd like to discuss further, um, please please feel free. Hare Paul. Krishna. Uh, yeah, just a quick, you know, um, 
appreciation of um, the generosity of um, Srila Bhakti Vinoda Thakur, who, you know, who writes purports to these songs and essays, you know, so that it gives us the, you know, the full meaning of these songs, you know, which is not meant to be taken lightly. <laughs> And, and it was nice to see that verse uh, seven, as you said, that when um, a just a little drip bit of jowl, uh, jowl it, a bit of water is in the eyes of the person that <laughs> Nittai notices that and goes to that person and gives them appreciation. So it's all very, as you say, merciful and generous. And then you said about the generosity of the guru so it all comes together, doesn't it, about how blessed we are. That's all. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, dear Sharada. Thank you so much. Yeah. So true. Thank you. Any other? Uh, oh, Hare Priya Devi. Hare Ball. Thank you again for such an inspiring class. Uh, I really liked, for example, the uh, the part where you were is, is describing like when Nityananda was dancing that um, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is theater with him even though like unseen so so that was really like nice, nice part of the class among many others but I have a question and uh, I was wondering because I really love this song it's so beautiful and I, I'm happy you chose it for today but I, I'm, I'm a little bit wondering because I find that there's a quite a lot like commercial vocabulary here, like marketplace of the holy name, buying the name, bargaining the price, taking the commission, that kind of expression. So, so why do you think that Srila Bhakti Vinoda Thakur is uh, using those metaphors here? Mm. Thanks for the question. Yeah, good question. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm not really sure how to how to answer it. Um, so let me just find the song again. Um, yeah, I mean, to me, I guess from my my own sort of um, perception of it, it seems to me to kind of um, it kind of makes it more fun that he's kind of likening it to a to a business because. But it is, it's, in a sense, it's kind of ironic because it's very much not like a business deal in the sense that, you know, when you think about the extraordinary mercy, there is no, you know, it's, it's often said, isn't it, that, you know, we don't um, approach Krishna like in the same way, you know, as if it's like some business arrangement, you know, you, you give me something, I give you something. But like, I don't know, it's just, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the way that Dr. No Tucker writes about it, it makes it, it sounds quite funny um especially when he sells when he says about how um you know that you know just come with me and we'll go there and you and and um what does he say and then he says i'll take my due commission <laughs> and then all of all our desires will be fulfilled <laughs> but i guess it's funny because it's it, because it's all transcendental isn't it it's not in, in any sort of material sense um but I don't really, yeah, I'm not really sure how, how to answer it because yeah, it's a good question that like, it does seem quite, oh, Sharada has her hand up. Maybe she has some input um, to, to, to share with us. Um, not much, but you know, just to say he makes it more attractive sometimes, I think this is what I, you know, I gather is that he makes it more attractive to the people on the street, if you know what I mean, the people. Oh, yeah. So something they can relate to, something they can relate to, and then it's a bridge to, you know, some transcendent, something transcendental, something which they're not familiar with. But um, I, I actually worked in multi-level marketing. Well, my husband knows more about it, but it's it's something, it's a kind of a business. I don't, I've given it all up now, but it's kind of a business which is attractive to people as well because it's not like a pyramid scheme where the person at the top gets everything. It's, it's, it's basically that every person, you know, is sent like an agent, like they were all sent to different parts of India to share the holy name. So these agents go out and, and share the so-called product and, um, and, and each person actually gets something equally. Um, they, they, they don't get 
it's not like the person at the top gets the most, um, but every person, mm. every agent benefits equally. And um, it's an attractive kind of business, but I don't know if it <laughs> existed in those days, but I'm just supposing that. That's, that. that's a wonderful answer, actually. Thank you so much for that, because it's so true. And also, yeah, like you say, that's I guess that's more appealing to the people in general. And like we mentioned in the beginning about the style in which he's speaking, it is more for like the people in general, the style of this song, rather than some of his more sort of... Um, how would you say sort of refined language in some of his other songs yeah. and writings this is so yeah yeah that that makes sense actually thank you yeah oh, How, what do you think harry Crea? do you think that um that that kind of that seems to make sense doesn't it <laughs> yeah 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 thank you sharada so yeah i guess if there's i don't know if there's anything else um but if not we'll uh We'll finish up there um but yeah just thank you so much for, for all of you being here thank you um for your attention um thank you again to Srila Padmanabh Maharaj for um for um asking me to to give some talks to um you know it's uh I, I mentioned back in September I was very um very nervous about talking and um uh, but after once uh, I feel as if the more talks I've given I'm feeling less and less nervous about it and it actually the more you research and the more you prepare it actually it's become it's becoming more fun <laughs> to actually like share these things with with the devotees um so I'm very grateful to um his holiness Padmanabh Maharaj because he has really helped me a lot in overcoming a lot of like silly kind of false ego things and actually just to just to share um some some nice things with the devotees um so yeah thank you all for being here and uh i wish you all floods and floods of mercy of nityananda prabhu and our shula gurudev and um yeah i look forward to, to seeing you all soon uh, yeah thank you so much shri nityananda ram prabhu ki jai ananda koti vaishnav rinda ki jai shula gurudev Nitta Gaura Premanande Hari Hari Bol Gauranga.